Distro hopping has gotten a bad name over the last few years, and it seems like the more graybeard people in the community tend to poo-poo distro hopping because it's for noobs. And this is really a bad way of looking at it because distro hopping can actually be really good for you. And while it's not always the case, I think that distro hopping is actually something that everybody should do. And I think everybody does do when they're new, but I'm talking about even those of us who have been using Linux for a long time should distro hop from time to time. And I'm going to talk about five reasons why today. The first reason why is very much a noob reason, but it also applies to people who have used Linux for a long time. Distro hopping allows you to find your happy place. And by that I mean it allows you to find the distribution that you're most comfortable on. How are you supposed to know which distribution you're supposed to be on, the one that you'll enjoy the most, if you haven't tried them all? Uh, it, it'd be like going to the furniture store and buying the first bed that you find or the first chair that you find there and not trying several of them out because you may be missing out on the one that's actually even more comfortable than the first one you tried. Or buying a car and buying the first one you see on the lot. It's not necessarily the best one. You have to try a few of them. That's why you test drive things. The second reason why you should distro hop is it allows you to learn new things. Distros do things differently. They come with different software. They install themselves differently. They use different file systems and so on and so forth. And not all of them are the same. And we know that because they exist. If every distro was exactly the same, there'd be no reason for so many of them to be around. Uh, trying new distros allow you to learn those new things and to try them out. And even if you don't like the distro that you try, you'll have learned those things and be able to take them with you and use them whenever you settle down on the distro that is actually meant for you. The third reason why you should distro hop is that it allows you to argue with other Linux users. Now, I like this one. Uh, how are you supposed to know how to appropriately argue with somebody who comes along and says to you that their distro is better unless you've actually tried the distro that they're talking about? Because you'd have no points to argue. You you can't tell me that the RUR is bad if you've never used the UR. Uh, I, couldn't, I can't tell you that PPAs are bad if I've never used the PPA system. It's just the way it is. If you want to be able to argue with people about why your distribution is better, you also have to use other distros because you have to have something to compare them with you. Otherwise, you're just a, a, a neckbeard. You're somebody who's a, you're a fanboy. And it's okay being a fanboy, but if you don't have any evidence to back up your enthusiasm, you, it's not a great thing. It's like saying your country is the best country in the world without ever having ever visited another country. The fourth one is probably the most important on the list. And that is, distro hopping gives you exposure to other Linux communities. Now, despite the Linux community being a gigantic melting pot of everybody around the world, we have become very segregated. We, we got Arch users and we got Ubuntu users, we got Debian users, we got Open SUSE enthusiasts, you know, we got Fedora users and so on and so forth. We don't really mix very well. Uh, I mean, technically we're all Linux users, but we've formed separate communities within the community. And that has allowed rivalries to spring up and memes to show up. I mean, everybody makes fun of Arch users. Everybody makes fun of Gen 2 users. And these rivalries can sometimes lead to divisions within the broader community. By distro hopping and trying out each of these distros and becoming a part of the community of those distros, you have an opportunity to not only be able to compare the communities, and also it will help you understand the community that you end up being a part of better because you'll be able to say well you want to at least i'm not the arch guys who are so stuck up or i'm not the gen 2 guys that are so stuck up my community is way better it also allows you to interact with more people you know one of the greatest things about the linux community as a whole is that there's a ton of people here that you would normally not interact with and by distro hopping you would at you actually meet more people for example I've hopped to Arco Linux, you know, a couple years ago or whatever for the first time, and I've met a lot of people in that community. That's the community that I've settled in. 
but I've also been in the Ubuntu community and met a lot of people there. I've been in the Fedora community for a little while and met people there. And it's the same thing with like window managers and desktop environments. You hop between those as well and you meet people and developers and stuff like that for those that you use. And those things can lead to lasting friendships. They can lead to contacts and technical support when you need it or whatever. And it's just a... Uh, it's an enriching experience that you won't get if you just find one distro and stick with it forever and ever and ever. The last reason why you should distro hop is a simple one. It's fun. Now, this one might just be me. Uh, I, I am kind of crazy about distro hopping, but uh, for me, I really do enjoy trying out something new. Now, sometimes the cause of me distro hopping isn't fun. So sometimes I get frustrated with a problem or something and... Uh, I spend a while trying to fix it and I just can't, so I end up distro hopping. That can be frustrating. That's basically been my experience over the last couple of weeks because I've been having some Linux problems. But uh, when I just choose to distro hop, it's because I'm looking forward to the entertainment of installing a new distro, uh, making sure that it all works nice and good, and installing all my stuff on it, uh, reorganizing a lot of my stuff. It's, it's kind of like, I mean, I'd say it's kind of like spring cleaning, but nobody likes spring cleaning. It's more like, it's like maybe painting your room or something like that. It's like maybe it's not the process so much, but at the end of it, you have something new at the end, and it's really kind of neat. So those are the five reasons why I think you should distro hop. They aren't all inclusive. There may be other reasons why you think you should distro hop, and if there are, make sure you leave those in the comments below. Maybe you think that you shouldn't distro hop, and you should just find one distro and stick with it forever and ever and ever. You can also leave a comment below. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons, Devon, Marcus, Meglin, Donnie, Sven, East Coast Web, Merrick, Camp, Mitchell, and Chris. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.